Hello guys, my friends. It's been a long time. I'm sorry my camera was broken, but I got a new GoPro 9 at this moment. So, tonight we're going to cook beef short ribs uh, with a pomegranate juice. Actually, it's going to be quick, easy, and doesn't need much of your uh, time, okay? So, let me explain what do we need for, what ingredients we actually need for our dish. Of course, we need uh, beef short ribs. Here we have about four to four and a half pounds. Uh, coriander, pepper, and uh, salt. And then onion, and then pomegranate. Of course, I peeled it, I uh, squeezed the seeds out of it, and we're going to make a juice out of this uh, thing. So in the pot, I'm gonna drop the beef short ribs, coriander and pepper, about one spoon of, uh, one spoon of each, because we have a lot of, and then one spoon of salt. We have a lot of uh, meat. I'm going to shake it, mix it. It's gonna take some time. We have a fresh meat took off from the freezer in the morning, so now it's so soft. Look at this. Mm. Oh my god, I can't wait it when it's gonna be over and then we're gonna try it. Next step, onion. I actually already pre-cut it before we start the shooting the video. Onion. Amazing. And we're going to make fresh, fresh, not the, the, the not the pomegranate juice you buy in the store. Uh, it's going to be fresh squeezed out of the real pomegranate. I bought it today. Okay. Two full pomegranate. Just letting you know. Okay. We're gonna start from the low to high. Okay, I think it's it's enough. That's a freshly squeezed pomegranate. I'm amazing. I love it. I love it. Nice. You actually can filter it with seeds away if you don't like it. We don't mind. For us no problem actually they say that with the seeds it's better <laughs> do you feel the taste the smell of it I already no not yet not yet we're going to leave it for the whole night to marinate and we're going to prepare uh, tomorrow in the oven for a couple hours if you have time you can leave it on the low fire for three to four hours. It's going to be more delicious. Now, if you don't have enough time, you will leave it for two hours or one and a half hour with a higher degree in the oven, okay? Also, another point, you don't have to leave for the whole night in the fridge to marinate it. You can uh, leave it for half an hour, one hour, two hours, and then send it to oven also for one hour, one and a half and two hours if you're in a rush. We're not in a rush because we want to get the best out of it. I added just a little bit of water and I decided to cut the garlic, add the garlic. The temperature of oven is 270 degrees and I'm going to leave it for three hours and then I'll take a look after that, maybe three and a half hours. I am ready to try it. My stomach is in pain already because the smell is so delicious. Okay, let's see what we have here. Jesus Christ. Uh, actually, you can use the sauce out of meat, like a soup. 
it's very delicious that's fantastic wow now let me get some some sauce I left it in the oven for three and a half hours the bone almost uh, peeled or left the, the, the meat you know so that's how good it is okay now the it's a time to try it. Okay. Mm. Hot, but oh my god, it's worth it, guys. Okay. Oh. It's so good. It's just melting in my mouth. My stomach is right now happy. I'm gonna go finish the whole pot and see you in my next video. You know what to do, like, like, subscribe, all those things, right? Okay, guys, bye.